So be intentional, but explicit, connect people with purpose and act with compassion, but integrity. So my pearl is go forth and lead, but let a mantra guide your actions. Hi everyone, good morning from uh, Nova Scotia. Um, I have a simple message today and it's this, have a mantra. If you're anything like me, you felt at least at times a little bit overwhelmed with the dizzying array of leadership styles, approaches, uh, dispositions, and the lists of most effective leadership practices, et cetera. There's certainly no shortage of discourse around leadership. So for me, I felt a real need to clearly define my own beliefs uh, around leadership to guide my practice. I needed to synthesize all of the thoughts and ideas I had encountered into a few simple phrases that answer not the question of what I will do as a leader, but how I will act. So why a mantra? Well, first I believe that for others to feel that you're clear and consistent as a leader, you need to be have clarity in your own mind about who you are as a leader. To be clear to others, you need to be clear to yourself. Secondly, a mantra gives you clear guidance on how you will tackle unpredictable issues and problems that arise. While we can't control the issues that fall into our laps on a daily basis, we do have control to a certain degree over the attitudes, dispositions, and the mindsets we take into tackling the complex, pro complex problems that uh, come our way. So what are the elements of a good mantra? Uh, to me, in my opinion, a good mantra is clear and concise. It's a few short phrases that are easy to remember. So you're not having to go check your notes if somebody asks you, you know, who you are and how do you act as a leader or who are you and how do you act as a leader? It represents your real beliefs, so your true self. And it's aspirational, but actionable, so not unrealistic. So what's my mantra? Uh, it has three parts. One, be intentional, but explicit. Two, connect people with purpose. And three, be compassionate, but act with integrity. Uh, the first, being intentional, really speaks to acting with purpose and being proactive. Then making sure that you share with others what you're doing and why you're doing it. The second, connecting people with purpose, really speaks to motivation, helping others find a sense of purpose and to feel that their work is important and that it matters. The third, be compassionate but act with integrity, really speaks to the importance of acting morally and ethically as a leader. While I could go into a lot of depth on any of these three points because they are actually, while they're phrased in simple terms, they are complex and there is a great deal of depth that could, you could go into. Uh, I do want to zoom in just briefly on one element of the third point, and that's the concept of trust. For in the absence of trusting relationships, any particular initiative uh, is likely more likely to fail. Frances Frey has an excellent TED talk on this topic of trust, and she suggests that trust really is a product of three factors, authenticity, empathy, and logic. Authenticity is really about making sure that your thoughts, your words, and your actions are all in alignment. Empathy is about making time to be present with people on a physical level, a cognitive level, and an emotional level. And then also being vulnerable at times as we draw on our own experiences to try to put ourselves in the, in the other person's shoes. In terms of logic, our actions must be seen as rational and objective, not based on accommodating the wants or the needs of a vocal minority or favoring our own close friends. We must ask ourselves, would any reasonable person, knowing all that we know, be likely to make the same decision I'm about to make? So when developing your own personal leadership mantra, think about where the concept of trust fits in. For me, it has been the most important ingredient. So be intentional but explicit, connect people with purpose, and act with compassion but integrity. So my pearl is, go forth and lead, but let a mantra guide your actions. Thank you.